Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. I am the video channel producer, you can call me PD, and today we are checking out Clock by Infinite. I really like to tell me, um, Infinite is one of those groups where I've only, and this has changed by the way, to, to, with their previous album, I listened to their B-sides, but before their previous Tell Me album, Infinite was one of those groups where I had only heard their title tracks, but all of their title tracks were phenomenal. Bad Back, The Chaser, and Tell Me was especially really, really good. Uh, so I'm excited to check this out. For me, this is my first ever Infinite comeback because Tell Me was the one that I uh, first reacted to and actually started paying attention afterwards. Tell Me was so good, I listened to that album. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be jumping right into this. And before we do, be sure to check me out on social media. We're gonna be on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I have a production team who's gonna be helping me manage it. And we're gonna try to engage with you guys more. So if you enjoy our content and you want some more, why don't you follow us on social media? Anyways, let's get into the music video. This is your form of therapy. All right, they're going for an old film concept. Ooh, it's very dark and dramatic. I like it. It's very heavy, emotional. That instrumental almost sounds muffled. I like it. Oh, fuck, yeah. Wow, that's a very intense close-up. Where's Hong Yu? Wait, where's Hong Yu? I'm really digging this. This is sort of like... It's not pop ballad and it's not exactly a ballad either. But it's a great combination of all of those things. Wow. They're focused on like very like intense cinematography. Like heart shadows, extreme close-ups. What an odd interruption to the song. I feel like that was an odd interruption to the song and it didn't add enough for that to be warranted. It just kind of chilled the momentum of the song. Oh, 
I just realized one of the members is wearing the same sweater as Mingyu from 17's Getting Closer. The Red X one. Okay, first of all, before we get into this, I need to investigate. Where the fuck was Sungyu? Military? Oh, wow. I didn't know Sungyu went to the military. Oh, he's my favorite. I was looking forward to seeing. No! I'm sad now. That song doesn't help. What I do like about the song, though, it reminds me of like a sort of B2B esque style, which I really, really enjoy. I really liked how emotional it was, and it was still a little upbeat at the same time. I thought it was very interesting. And the rapping too, the rapping was really good. And so I definitely don't mean to compare them to B2B, but it's just, I really love B2B. They have a great combination of really sad, emotional ballad type music that's still somehow upbeat and very interesting. And I thought that was the exact style here. Man, I'm just sad that Song Yu's not in this, but I actually really enjoyed the song and the music video. They made some interesting choices where it felt very cinematic, but at the same time, a little low budget. I, I don't know if that was on purpose though. So the thing is, there were a lot of stationary shots. And when it comes to filmmaking, unless it's very purposeful, you don't want too many stationary shots. In fact, if it's a stationary shot, you are pulling focus to all of your subjects. And so if there is not like a certain level of art design and uh, some science put into how you're designing your shot, stationary shots pull too much focus to especially the flaws and it seems a little boring. And there were a lot of shots where the group is singing and they're all lined up. There's no dimensionality in it and they're all lined up like this and it's just like a medium shot of all of them and they're just singing and the shot's not moving. Parts of it made me think this is kind of an interesting shot. It makes me think some of it is an interesting film technique, you know, like an old school film technique to make it look more dramatic and noir-esque, but that could also easily translate to this looks bad. This definitely doesn't look bad in that sense. This was definitely shot on high definition cameras. Uh, it was edited and color corrected very properly. It's honestly just their choice in shots and camera work. It felt very limiting and claustrophobic. And I wanna open this up as a discussion for you guys. What do you guys think? I think on one hand, it kind of works. Like I said in the beginning, the instrumental sounded a little muffled and the song, the way it's so powerful and emotional, it almost feels like it's a little bit suffocating. And the big chorus where there's the flourish of emotion and singing, it almost feels like you're coming up for air and it feels very freeing in that sense. And so I wonder if the restrictive camera shots and the um, sort of limited techniques they used for the framing devices do you think it was more so intentional to make it sort of have that kind of claustrophobic feeling? Or do you think it was just poor direction on their part? You know, I would like to leave it up for discussion with you guys on what you think about that. Man, I was, I was just so excited for Song Yu. Now he's not here. Don't laugh at me. Song Yu's the best. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and review of Infinite's Clock. Uh, let me know what you thought about the song and the music video in the comments down below. Uh, also, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We have a full team now, and I've got mouths to feed and people to clothe, and uh, I could use your help in that. So consider going to patreon.com slash formatherapy, and for as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reaction videos just like this. And thank you to our current monthly pledgers who allow us to do this full time. However, if you can't support us monetarily, that's completely fine. Why don't you go ahead and click like down below right here. Go ahead and click subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you're new and go ahead and watch all my other videos over here.